Let's talk about what wasn't announced in that Nintendo Direct. What's up everybody, my name's Andy and welcome back to 128KB. If you're new to the channel, go down there, smash that like and subscribe, share this video around and all that good stuff because it, it helps us out. So yeah, the Nintendo Direct has just happened and I loved it. You can see my videos on it. There, there's videos on it in the channel, so, so go watch those. But I wanted to talk about what wasn't announced in the Direct that maybe should have been or maybe a lot of us would have liked to have seen some more information on. Number one, of course, is Zelda. Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. We don't have a title, we don't have a release date, we don't have anything else other than we know it's coming eventually. So I thought maybe we would see a little bit more of that, maybe? But I guess, uh, I guess we didn't. <laughs> so at the minute, we, we, like I said, we don't know the title and we don't know when it's coming out. Is it gonna come out this year? What's your thoughts on it? Like, do you expect it to come out this year or do you expect them to sort of release more information about it later on this year, maybe in another direct towards the end of the year? Are we looking at a 2023 release here? Possibly. I mean, it's, it's hard, isn't it? Because Breath of the Wild 1 released on the Wii U and then it was over on the Switch. So are they gonna be trying to push this as close to the end of the life cycle as possible to then bring it out on the Switch 2 as well? Or like, I don't know. We've still got five years left, pretty much, of the Switch. So we've, we've still got a lot of time. But I just, I don't know what they're like, playing at here like i don't know if they're going to be trying to push for that like two system sort of copy where they where they put it on the switch and then bring it over to the switch 2 as well or if it's going to be sooner rather than later like 2023 maybe like sometime next year that we actually get it and then that way we get like a good like four years worth but i don't know I, I, I just don't know, but I would have liked to have seen more information, even just like another trailer about it, just something about Breath of the Wild 2 would have been nice. Maybe even just a title, that would have been cool. Meh. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's the first thing. Next is Bayonetta 3. Again, we, we don't know when Bayonetta 3 is coming, really. Like, like there's there's no actual solid date there and i'm massive like i'm massively hyped for bayonetta 3 if you're already if you know us like this channel well then you know we've done an entire playthrough of bayonetta 2 uh, uh, on the channel you can watch that in the live streams but you know i've played through bayonetta 1 like loads of different times but i finally like fully start to finish completed it and then we went straight into bayonetta 2 live on the channel and went through all of that game and i'm so ready for bayonetta 3 but didn't really see anything else about it. <laughs> it's like, okay, great. Like, I, I, I want more, like, please, something else. Like, I, I just want something from from you. Maybe, maybe just a release date, maybe. So again, this is the same thing that applies to the first game. And I guess applies to all of these games that I'm gonna talk about is, when, when are they coming? <laughs> when are they coming? Like, I, I would have loved to have seen a big Bayonetta, like three announcement video, like in, in that direct that we just had. But yeah, sadly not. But are you hyped for Bayonetta 3? Because I am. <laughs> so go down in the comments and let me know if you expect it to come this year or again, are we looking at next year? I don't think we're going to be waiting too long for it because we waited so long for anything at all about it. So, uh, you know, uh, meh, meh. Now we were all expecting, or I say we, but a lot of us were expecting the Batman collection to come to Switch. So like the Batman Arkham Knight collection, there's been some like rumors about it coming to Switch. And I would have loved that. I'm a big Batman fan. I haven't played all of the Arkham games. I've, I've had one of them in the past. And again, I didn't even play the whole thing, but I enjoyed what I did play of it. I know one of them was on the Wii U and everyone loved that version because of the sort of, even though it was on every other platform as well, they integrated the big sort of uh, like screen thing, you know, like really well into that game. So it would be really interesting to see what they did with the Switch versions, but I think it would just be really cool to have them portably and on the Switch. That would probably be the way that I actually play through these games. If they released the Batman like Arkham collection of, I think it's three games, then I would actually get it on Switch and I would most likely end up playing through them for the first time ever. But 
yeah, sadly, again, we didn't see that. And it's weird because I was really, really expecting that because the rumors were really close to the direct and everyone else was kind of saying, yeah, it's going to be in this direct, it's going to be in this direct, but nah, we didn't, we didn't get it at all. So is that just a complete blatant rumor and it's never coming to the Switch? Or maybe are they still like working on it? Or are they just going to like drop it like randomly outside of a direct? Are they just going to be like, there you go, there's Batman. Or are we going to see it later on in the year in another direct? I mean, who knows? Now this is just wild speculation, but I've wanted these games forever on the Switch, and that is Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. I, I, I want them on the Switch. I haven't ever played Twilight Princess. Don't, don't shoot me, I've never played it. I haven't played that Zelda game before, and I want to, and I want to play it on the Switch. <laughs> and Wind Waker, I haven't played since the GameCube. I even have a GameCube, but I don't have the game anymore. Like I haven't, I never even completed it when I was younger either, because I was just running around with Link, just doing crazy stuff. But that game is beautiful. Like I, I love it. I know people don't like the sort of cell shaded style, but I just think it looked great. Like when you look at it on the GameCube, it still looks amazing. And yes, you can play them on the Wii U. Like they, they actually redid like uh, at least Wind Waker on the Wii U. And I've been stopping myself from purchasing that. Like I want it. But it's like, I don't want to buy it on the Wii U and then like six months later it comes out on the Switch and then buy it again, do you know what I mean? Like, so I'm kind of like holding off, but I really want these on the Switch. And again, like I've said before, we're, we're halfway through the life cycle of the Switch. We've still got like five years left. I really want them to bring this over because having them portably would be amazing. And again, I want an excuse to play Twilight Princess. I've never, I've never played it, so I want to play it. And I just want Wind Waker as well. Like that, that I think I want Wind Maker, Waker, Wind Maker. Wind Waker more just because there's so much nostalgia for me with that game, like playing it on the GameCube. Ugh, I didn't even have it originally. I used to go around one of my friend's houses and then he would like lend it to me and stuff. Loved that, loved that. Like I, I want Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Are we ever gonna see them? I, d I don't know. I really don't know. Again, we've still got time, but I, I, I and the last one for me is, well, obviously we haven't seen anything about Metroid Prime 4. Like, I, I don't expect to either because they're still like hiring people for the development of it and stuff. And they completely scrapped the game. Like, when was it? Three years ago? Maybe, no, oh, I think it was four years ago now. Was it 2018? Where they just came out and said, we're not happy. We're just binning it off. We're starting again from scratch. That's fine. I'm totally happy to wait for Metroid Prime 4 personally because I want it to be the best that it can possibly be. And if that means waiting like three, four more years and then it comes out on the Switch 2, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I, I'm i skeptical as to, see, as to whether we even get it on the Switch, but we do still have five years left, like I keep saying. So maybe... Maybe it'll come out, but what I do want to see and what I was hoping to see in this direct and it wasn't there, so I'm really hoping it's going to be shown in this year, like some other direct, is Metroid Prime 1, like HD remaster or remake, whatever you want to call it, however they do it, just do it. You know, I want the trilogy, I want all three, I want 1, 2 and 3, like ported over and made lovely, I do, but... <sighs> Like, where is it? <laughs> I know the rumors originally were for the trilogy, but I don't think that's gonna happen. They kind of quickly changed those rumors to just one. So like Prime 1 remake, and I think that's probably more realistic, even though it's like sad <laughs> to bring them all over. But you know, I, I, I don't know what's happening with that. And that, that, that makes me sad. I want Prime 1 on the Switch now to tie us over until, you know, Prime 4 comes out. I have actually recorded a whole video about Metroid Prime that I just never got around to editing. So I've been sat on it for ages. Maybe I just maybe maybe I'll just edit it and just stick it on the channel anyway, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see that like sort of unreleased video that recorded a while back. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And if so, well, then I'll, I'll throw it up. I'll edit it and put it up. But anyway, they were the sort of games I was hoping to see in this direct and that were never shown. What were the games that you wanted to see and you didn't see? Like, I, I would like to know. I, I, I would like to know. So let me know down in the comments. Check out our website, 128kb.co.uk. My name's Addy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.